Hi, I'm JMO at Xcase, www.xcase.co.uk. So we uh, deal with rack mount chassis, have been doing for years and years and years. We build servers and uh, building servers, we use a lot of Supermicro motherboards. Uh, we're getting a lot of demand for their chassis as well, which we do bring in on request. But we're now going to start to bring them into stock and sell them directly from our website. As such, I'll just do a little video of each one as we add them to the site. So this is the Supermicro 846B16-R920B. It's a 24-bay uh, rack mount system with redundant uh, power supply, 800 watt, and also the back plane has got a built-in SAS expander. So let's go and have a proper look at it. So it comes very strongly boxed. In the box you get this heavy duty set of rails, a couple of brackets to fit uh, two and a half inch drives at the rear of the chassis, along here, and a bag of screws for fitting your motherboard in. So from the front, you can see you've got these 24 hot swat caddies. These will take three and a half inch uh, Saturn SAS drives. As default, unfortunately, they won't take two and a half inch drives, but there is a bracket converter that you can purchase to do this. So on each caddy, you've got two little bulbs here. Bottom one will glow continuously just to say that there's power to the drive and the top one will flicker away. Looking nice and pretty in your data center. Bottom here, you've got your power on, reset, and just your activity lights for LAN, hard drive, and a power light. Very strong, very well built. I did look at Supermicro for a good six, seven years ago, and I wasn't that impressed, but uh, this is far better. So here's the redundant power supply. It's an 800 watt platinum, so it's going to save on your electricity. If I move around, you'll see we've got these three fans, 80 mil. They are hot swap. Um, they just powered directly to the motherboard with these four pin connections. Being a super micro chassis, they're presuming that you're going to use one of their super micro boards, and all of their boards, in fairness, have got lots of fan headers. So even though you've got three fans here, two at the rear, there's still going to be enough fan headers if you're going to follow the super micro route to make it all work properly. So, back plane, a 6GB back plane, got these three mini SAS ports. Generally on the back plane on a 24 drive, you'd have six of them. But because this has got a built-in SAS expander, it can be controlled by as little as a four port RAID card or HBA card. Your four port cable would just go into one of these connections so just be one cable, an 8087 to 8087 cable. And that would then control the full amount of 24 drives. If you've got an eight port uh, RAID card or HBA card, and there's not a lot of price difference between a four and an eight, it's a little bit better because of uh, bandwidth. Now that's still gonna leave you a uh, 8087 connection which you could then use to create a JBOD from if you wanted further disk space on a second system.
If you've got some long cards, you've got these uh, retention brackets for the ends of them. And you've got this air shroud here, which would go over your processors, or processor if it's a single socket board. And what this does, it channels the airflow directly to the coolers. So if you wanted to use passive coolers instead of active coolers, then that would work fine. You've got your standard seven rear expansion uh, slots. And the chassis is made to be taking all the Super Micros boards. Um, but it'll also take other people's Micro ATX, standard ATX and extended ATX boards. Super Micro have got some slightly wider boards um, which work well with this chassis because it's got this uh, layout for the power supply which is uh, less wide than most standard power supplies. So in a second video, when I've got a bit more time, I'll start it up, but I'm presuming because we've got four pin headers on all the fans, an 80 plus uh, power supply, it's not going to make a tremendous amount of noise, which will be nice if it's uh, quite quiet. So for the price, um, by the time you take into account the redundant power supply, the uh, back plane with the built-in expander, which saves you a lot of money on buying a 24-port RAID card. Um, it, uh, it really is pretty reasonable, it has to be said. So there we are for now. That's the uh, Supermicro 24-bay chassis. I will do a further video as I said, in a few days, just to uh, have it configured with a motherboard so you can see how it all pans out and sounds. Thanks very much.